Good morning and namaste, dear student. Welcome to this educational program of Join School Family, Rupandei. It is a virtual class <coughs> developed by Join School Family and it is designed especially for the student of uh, class 9 and 10. I'm your regular English teacher and I'm going to teach you English in this class. It is a continuation of previous topic that is active and passive voice. In this class, okay, we are going to learn various passive sentences and their active and passive structures. Without any delay, let's begin our class. Here, you'll see one table. Look, in the table, there are three columns. In the first column, you'll see various uh, sentences okay, and others. In the first columns, you'll see the name of, name of different sentences and others. In the second <coughs> column, you'll see the active, active structures of different tenses and their examples. And in the third column, you'll see the passive, passive structures and <coughs> example of different passive sentences. First, assertive sentence. Assertive sentence. The active structure of assertive sentence is subject plus verb plus object and then other words. The example is Anu closes the door. Anu is subject, closes the door, verb, and closes verb, and the door is object. And let's see the passive structure of assertive sentence. Okay. The passive structure of assertive sentence <coughs> is object plus auxiliary verb plus verb in past participle form that is V3 and then by and then subject. Okay. Subject of the active voice and here object of the <coughs> active voice. Example. The door is closed by Anu. The door is object, object of the active voice. Is actually verb closed. Verb in past participle form by and after Anu. Anu is the subject, subject of the active voice. In this way, <coughs> we <coughs> change assertive sentence of active voice into uh, passive in the passive sentence, in the passive form. Next is interrogative sentence. Interrogative sentence, first yes, no question. Yes, no question. Active structure of yes, no question is auxiliary verb, subject, and after subject, verb, and then object, and other words. Example is, does Anu closes the door does regular verb on subject closes verb and the door is object this is the structure of yes no questions of active sentence now passive structure passive structure how we can change change it into passive following this structure following this structure we change yes no question of assertive sentence of not assertive interrogative interrogative sentence into passive. The structure is auxiliary verb and auxiliary verb after auxiliary verb object with object and sometimes there is be verb and sometimes there is no be verb plus v3 plus by and then <coughs> subject. Example is, is the door 
closed by Anu is the door closed by Anu is the auxiliary verb, the door object, and there is no B verb, and closed V3, pass, passive form of the verb, by, and after by, we write the subject there. In this way, we convert active <coughs> yes no question of active voice into <coughs> passive passive sentence. <coughs> now WH <coughs> WH question. The structure of active structure of WH WH question is WH word after WH word exolid verb after exolid verb subject verb and then object. Sometimes there are other other words too. The example is when does Anu close the door? When does Anu close the door? When is the WH word? Does exit verb Anu subject close verb the door object? How can we change this uh, sentence? Sentence into passive. Let's see the passive structure of W. WH questions. WH <coughs> same WH word and then auxiliary verb object plus V3 or sometimes there is B plus V3 and then by and subject you write here. An example when is the door closed by on? When when is the door closed by on? When WH word in WH word and is auxiliary verb the door object and closed V3 and by Anu subject. In this way, you have to change WH word into passive. There is a different way of changing it, changing who, uh, <coughs> who question. Uh, let's see the example. Let's clear it from the example. Who closes the door? Who closes the door is in active, active form, and we can change this into passive in the two ways. Two ways. First, who is the door closed by? Who is the door closed by? We write by at the end of the sentence. And we can change the same who closes the door into another way also. By whom is the door closed? By whom? is the door closed. In this uh, two ways we can change um, change uh, who questions uh, into passive. Now imperative imperative sentence. Uh, there are different form of imperative sentence. Uh, let's see uh, how the different form of uh, uh, different uh, structures of imperative sen uh, sentences are changed into different structures or different structures in passive uh, passive sentences. First, verb plus object plus other word. Example, write a letter. Write is a verb. A letter is object. Verb plus object is one um, one form of imperative sentence. One structure of imperative sentence. Uh, the example is write a letter. We can change this structure uh, in the passive in the uh, in this way. Let first let and then object and then B plus V3. Let's change this writer later into passive. Let a letter be let a letter be written. Let is let and after object a letter is object and B plus V3 written and B3. Another <coughs> imperative sentence. If the imperative sentence starts with let and after that object, first object and verb plus a second object and other words. Uh, let's see the example of this structure. Let him write a letter. Let is let. After let him is the object, first object, write is verb, a letter is second object. Okay. How we this how we can change this structure, this type of imperative sentence into passive? Uh, let's see the structure and example. First, let after let we write 
object second object object two and then b plus b three and by and after by we write object first object let a let a letter be written by him let a letter is the second object here a letter is the second object a letter be written by him him by him is the first object and we first object we write at the end at the end at the subject in the imperative imperative uh, imperative sentence in the passive form now next type of imperative sentence and the sentence start with please kindly and then verb please kindly plus verb please write a letter if the sentence start with please kindly uh, plus uh, plus verb we change it into passive in the following way okay? you are requested to we write you are requested to at the beginning and after that b1 and other words okay? here you are requested to write a letter you are requested to write a write a letter okay? If the sentence start with please kindly and b1 we change into passive using this structure you are requested to plus b1 example is you are requested to write a write a letter next is next imperative sentence is verb plus object duty the sentence which indicate duty verb plus object duty we change this into into passive following this structure example is obey your parents or help the poor these are the two example of this type of imperative sentence okay? imperative sentence with indicate duty okay? obey your parents obey the verb verb obey the verb your parents is the object and second example is help is the verb the poor is the object we change this type of sentence into passive following this structure the structure is object first we write the object and then should be should be b3 and plus other words let's see the example your parents should be obeyed your parents your parents is the object should be is the structure is the uh, words of the structure and then obeyed v3 and help the poor the poor should be helped in this way we change the imperative sentence into passive following the different structures and you have to understand you have to learn the structures <coughs> next optative sentence okay optative optative sentence the structure of optative active optative the sentence is may plus subject plus verb plus object example is may you defeat your rivals may you defeat your rivals may you is a subject defeat verb and your rivals is object we change the opt optative sentence into passive following this structure the structure is may plus object plus b plus b3 and other words example is may your rivals be defeated may your rivals is object b plus b3 be defeated in this way we change the optative sentence into passive following this structure so you have to learn this structure understand this structure and the next is um, model verbs okay. sentence sentences with model um, uh, uh, model verb okay. sentences with uh, model verb how we change the sentences with uh, model uh, actually verb into passive here is the here is the structure okay. the uh, model actually verbs are will shall can may might must should would could ought to used to need to these are the these are the model verbs okay. The passive structure of of the 
um, sentence with with modal auxiliary verb is subject plus modal verb and then V1 plus object. The example is Bola me was the car. Bola me was the car. Bola is the subject. Me. Modal auxiliary verb was V1 and the car is subject. We change this structure. Structure in, into passive using this structure. Object. Object first we write object and same as the same uh, modal verb of uh, the active active sentence. After that B plus B3 plus by and then subject. Let's change this sentence into passive. The car may be washed by Bola. The car is object. May. May is the same um, model, uh, model verb of the active, uh, active voice. And then B plus V3, B was, B plus V3, and then by plus subject, subject of the, uh, okay, this is the subject of the uh, active voice. In this way, okay, sentence with, with uh, model verb, we change into, <coughs> into passive. Now, other, uh, other uh, sentence structure, uh, sentence with has to, have to, had to plus b1 okay. if the say if there is has to have to had to in the in the sentence we change it into passive using this structure okay. let's see the passive structure first subject plus has to have to had to plus b1 plus object example is bola has to was the car we can change this first we write object after object has to or have to or had to plus b plus b3 and then by and subject the car has to be was by bola in this way we change into into passive another model model verb plus have plus b3 model verb plus have plus b3 if the sentence if the sentence is in, in this structure we change into passive using this structure. Let's see the active structure first. Active structure first. Subject plus uh, model verb plus have plus B3 plus object. Bola B have was the car. We can change this into passive using this structure. The structure is object. Okay. Model verb have been plus B3 plus by plus subject. Okay. Example, the car may have been washed by Bola. <coughs> now, the last structure is B verb plus going to plus B1. Active structure is subject plus is going to plus B1 plus object. The example is Bola is going to wash the car. Its passive structure is object plus is going to plus B plus B3 by plus subject. The example is the car is going to be washed by Bola. In this way, in this way, following this table, following this table, and learning different, uh, different uh, passive, different passive sentences, you can easily uh, change, uh, change from active voice to a passive, passive voice. Telling this much, I want to conclude my today's class. Thank you for watching the video.